Okay, the last four steps, class. So first, journalizing and posting the adjustments and preparing the adjusted trial balance. So adjusted trial balance. Next, preparing the financial statements. Next, journalizing and posting the closing entries. And next, preparing the post-closing trial balance. So here, class, adjusted trial balance, financial statements, closing entries, post-closing trial balance. Okay? That is our last four steps. Okay. If we will take a look of the accounting cycle, yung last four steps natin, first, adjusted trial balance, next, financial statements, Next, closing entries. And next, post-closing trial balance. So, ito yung i-discuss natin, itong apat na ito. Okay. Okay, however, let us discuss first the 10-column worksheet. And 10-column worksheet is an accounting worksheet prepared by accountants as tool in presenting the overview and the balances of accounts and adjusting entries that were recorded. So, yung 10-column worksheet, magkakaroon ka ng overview ng mga accounts na uh, na record, okay? Tsaka mga adjusting entries. 10-column worksheet is not intended to be used by third parties. The main purpose of the 10-column worksheet is to reduce the likelihood of forgetting an adjustment and possibly reveals obvious errors of certain accounts or amounts and in some cases, certain mathematical errors, Okay? Para magkaroon ka ng overview ng mga accounts, baka from there, malaman mo na meron ka dapat i-adjust. Okay. A typical worksheet consists of column on the left showing main account titles and 10 more money columns showing the debits and credits of trial balance, adjustments, adjusted trial balance, income statement, and statement of financial position. Okay. So as uh, we have said, the 10 column worksheet presents trial balance, adjustments, adjusted trial balance, the debit and credit of trial balance, the debit and credit of adjustments, the debit and credit of adjusted trial balance, and the debit and credit of income statements. So, yung mga nandito sa income statements are based on the adjusted trial balance. Okay? And you all know that the income statement will consist of revenue and expense. Okay? The difference between the total debit column and total credit column of the income statement is the amount of net income or net loss. And your statement of financial position presents the adjusted amounts of asset liability and owner's equity. And the difference between the total debit column and total credit column of your statement of financial position is likewise the amount of net income or net loss. So, class, dapat parehas yung difference ng inyong income statement tsaka yung difference ng statement of financial position. Let us illustrate that. Okay. Yung 10-column worksheet nyo, okay, dinis-discuss natin yung 10-column worksheet. Okay, will consist of your trial balance, your adjusting entries, adjust the trial balance, and your financial statements, which are your income statement and your statement of financial position. Okay. These are the composition of the columns of your 10-column worksheet. Okay, let us illustrate that. So this is the trial balance of Superstore. Okay, and we are going to use this uh, in the preparation of 10-column worksheet. So column 1 and 2 is the debit and credit of the trial balance. And your trial balance should be balanced. And for column 3 and 4, that will be for your adjustments, the debit and credit of your adjustments. And let us have this example for our adjustments. Okay? 1. Debit depreciation expense and credit accumulated depreciation equipment. So, uh, we are recording the depreciation expense. Next, adjustment. Debit insurance expense, 9000 and credit prepaid insurance, 9000 And the next adjustment, debit budget expense, 5000 credit allowance for doubtful accounts, 5000 Hindi din na natin class binigay yung transactions ng mga adjustment, no? Ito na yung ginawang adjusting entries. And for our fourth adjusting journal entries, debit supplies expense and credit supplies. Uh, you know how to do this, so... 
ibinigay na yung adjusting journal entries because we need this in preparation in the preparation of our 10 column worksheet and class please take note in 10 column worksheet adjusting journal entries on the inventory account should likewise be prepared so yung kung merchandising business kailangan adjusted dapat ang inventory nyo so adjusting journal entry to close the inventory inventory ng ano, beginning, that is the balance per trial balance. So, in this case, yung balance ng inventory is 30,000. Dapat i-close daw yan. Okay? And, adjusting journal entry to record the new inventory. Ano yung new inventory? That will be the end. That is based on the count. So, assuming that we have this, the balance per trial balance is 30,000. Yan yun. And the physical count of inventory indicated a balance of 55,000. Okay? So, how are we going to do the adjusting journal entry? First, we close the money inventory. And in closing the inventory, we will have to use a temporary account. And that account is income and expense summary. Okay? 30,000 debit and credit inventory of 30,000. So, na close na natin yon. Uh, beginning inventory. So, we have now to open the new inventory by debiting the inventory, the new the uh, balance per count, and crediting income and expense summary 55,000. So, now we have recorded the new inventory. So, class, these are our uh, adjusting journal entry for our inventory. So... Now, we are going to show to you these are our adjusting journal entries. We have six adjusting journal entries. And the first one, debit depreciation expense and credit accumulated depreciation. So, now we are going to uh, indicate all of these adjusting journal entries in this column. So, meron bang depreciation expense dito? Wala. So, we have to put that after the total. Debit depreciation expense. So, the debit, we'll put the debit here. And credit accumulated depreciation equipment. Meron ba dito accumulated depreciation? Wala. So, we have to indicate the account accumulated depreciation equipment. And that will be the credit. The next adjusting journal entry, debit insurance expense, 9,000. Credit prepaid insurance, 10,000. Meron ba insurance expense? Wala. Let's us put it there. 9,000 and credit prepaid insurance 9,000 okay next debit budgets expense credit allowance for doubtful accounts meron bang budgets wala lagay din uli natin basta wala ilagay lang natin yung account sa baba okay and debit 5,000 so here meron bang allowance yes may allowance credit so let's put this there let us put it there Okay, next is supplies. Debit supplies expense. Wala kasi siya dyan. Lagay natin, 4,000. And merong for supplies dito na 4,000. Credit natin yan. Okay? Then, income and expense summary. Wala. So, let's put income and expense summary. Merong debit na 30,000. At credit inventory. Ito yon Credit inventory na 30,000. And debit inventory na 55,000, lagay natin siya dyan at credit income and expense summary of 55,000. So, if you have to, you have to add the total, uh, get the total of the adjustments of debit and credit. So, in this case, the total is 115,000 and credit is 115,000. Dapat balance yan kasi balance naman yung debit and credit niya dito. Okay? So, now, we can go to the fifth and sixth column, which is your adjusted trial balance. So, adjusted trial balance, ito yung trial balance plus or minus the adjustments. Okay, like in this case, you have cash. So, ang adjusted niya, wala namang ibang adjustments, 50,000 din. Dito, wala naman siyang ibang adjustments, so 100,000 din. Dito, meron siyang credit na 3 at may credit na 5. So, parehing credit. So, i-add lang yan. Here, merong... Debit na 30, may debit na 55, so that's 85 minus credit na 30, that will be 55,000. Here, may debit na 20, may credit na 4, so ang balance yan is 16,000 debit. Here, may 12, may a credit na 9, so meron siyang balance na lang na 3. Here, you can extend, wala namang, I'm sorry, on the equipment, you can extend, wala namang iba. 
And here, accounts payable, you can extend that. Wala namang iba adjustment. Extend also owner's capital, owner's drawing. Sales, walang adjustment. Sales discount, walang adjustment. Purchases, freight in. Purchase it. So, kung walang adjustment, extend yun na lang yung balance. Okay? Per trial balance. Okay, salary is 20,000. Till it is rent and freight out. Okay? And depreciation expense, you have to extend that. Accumulated depreciation, extend it. This is credit, so ilagay mo sa credit. And yung mga insurance, that's a debit, lahat yan. Okay, so, debit lahat yan, 5, and supplies expense, debit. Dito, ang uh, net balance niya is 25 credit. So, ilagay mo siya 25, okay? Your adjusted trial, trial balance should likewise be uh, balanced. Okay, yung total niya, I get the total and make sure that it is balanced. Okay, basta hindi balance yan, maaaring nagkamali ka sa pag add and minus. Okay, ng trial balance and adjustments. So now, the 7 and 8 column is for your income statement. And for your 9 and 10 columns is for your balance sheet. Sabay mong gagawin ito ngayon. Okay, so ang ibig sabihin, Lahat ng income statement accounts, ilalagay mo dito sa 7 and 8 columns. Lahat ng balance sheet accounts or statement of financial position, ilalagay mo sa 9 and 10 columns. So in this case, itong 50,000, ano ba yan? Cash. Sa so balance sheet yan. So debit yan. So ilalagay mo siya sa debit ng balance sheet. Itong accounts receivable, ano yan? Balance sheet yan. So ilalagay mo siya sa balance sheet. Allowance for doubtful accounts, credit yan. Sa so balance sheet din yan. Okay. Sa inventory, balance sheet din yan. So, lalagay mo siya sa balance sheet. Supplies, balance sheet din yan. Lalagay mo siya dyan. Prepaid insurance, sa balance sheet account. Equipment, balance sheet account. Accounts payable, it's a balance sheet account. Owner's capital, it's a balance sheet account. And owner's drawing, it's a balance sheet account. Okay. Now, for income statement, mag sa sales, which is 306000 The sales discount is an income statement account. Purchases. Freight in, purchase returns, salaries, and utilities, rent are all the income statement accounts. Freight out, okay, depreciation expense is a uh, income statement account. Okay, and now class itong ano, accumulated depreciation, contra account yan na equipment, so dapat na dito yan sa balance sheet. Okay, itong mga expense na sa income statement account lahat yan. How about the income and expense summary? This is a temporary account, kaya nasa income statement account yan. Okay? Class, uh, we have discussed na ito total nyo siya dyan, and don't expect that this will balance. Okay? Get the total. And class, okay, you will note na mas malaki ito, and this is a uh, smaller amount, so it appears that you 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 have a net income kasi malak mas malaki itong credit side mo. Okay? So, the difference between 346 and 287 is 59,000. Ilalagay niyo yung difference dun sa mas maliit na amount. Okay? So, in this case, you can present that they are balanced. Okay? Dapat itong 59,000 na ito, ito rin ang difference ng iyong balance sheet. Okay? So, now... 349,000 minus 290,000. Okay, there's a difference of 59,000. You have to indicate that also in the smaller amount. So in this case, yung 59,000, ang ibig sabihin, it will have to be added on this column. And this is to be added in your capital. And we will show that later. Okay, so this now balance. So we are done. We have completed the 10-column worksheet. Okay?